Joining me in the studio this time around is Sarah Walters. She's the owner-operator of Market Alley Wines, but also a uh, proponent of a change to our square with the beautification process, or I should say enhancement. Sarah, tell folks about it that don't know about the new centerpiece. Sure. Well, I had this idea quite a while ago, actually, when they came up with, uh, when they won the grant, and I thought, wow, this would be kind of fun. I'm a big cheerleader for our town. I love Monmouth. Um, right now I own a business here, but I've been pretty much a lifelong resident. So I'm more concerned as a citizen than I am a business owner. But it, right now it kind of is a perk for me because I, I would be able to see it every day. So I kind of had this idea, you know, if you go around the country, each town kind of has something that makes them special. You know, you can travel to the biggest ear of corn or all those different things. Uh, and I thought, you know, gosh, wouldn't it be fun if we could have a giant maple leaf? in our center square. We are the Maple City. If you look around our town, even when you come to our town, the welcome sign has a maple leaf. Many businesses and organizations use the maple leaf as their logo. Um, so I thought it, that would be really cool as we're doing this beautification process. So um, I started the process and went to City Hall. Um, uh, I met with a with a local iron worker, um, Gabe Stevens. He lives in Biggsville. He's done amazing work. If you've been down to Macomb, you've seen um, that they have resurrected the Monopoly world because the woman who created the game was from Macomb. Yes. And so they have all the uh, several pieces anyway, and he did the work there. And so I thought, gosh. So I approached him with my idea, and he said, oh, yeah, we could totally make that happen. So then I went to um, several council meetings to propose my idea, and um, it finally passed. So um, my promise when I created this idea was that I would do the fundraising to make this happen so that the city didn't have to incur one single penny. Um, so now that they have approved it, now it's time for me to literally put my money where my mouth is and fundraise for this project to happen. Um, I think it'll be really cool. There's a, the, it'll be a giant maple leaf made out of stainless steel, but uh, the way they finish it, it'll look uh, kind of dark like a fall okay. maple leaf, um, but it won't rust or anything because it's made of stainless steel. It will be um, encircled by a welcome uh, circle that will say Monmouth, the Maple City, which will be illuminated at night, and the leaf in the center will rotate. It will be on a small motorized um whatever you call that some contraption that will cause that leaf to kind of turn in the in the center um, the pool that is there where the fountain is now will remain and my goal is to fill that with rock and dirt and plant some flowers or some grasses or something I'd like to work with local agronomists and people like that that are good at knowing what kind of things would work well in our sure. in our downtown to weather the storms and all those things. So um, I have pretty lofty goals, and I'm I'm really excited to see it come to fruition. I think it it will be a great addition. As you hear, Bruno's pretty excited about it too. Mr. Bruno's with Mr. us Bruno's this here today. Yes, and hi he's, Bruno. He says you guys don't know how hard my mom's worked on this. <laughs> yes, and for those listening, we'll have this up on our YouTube channel uh, today as well, so you can catch Bruno. He's he's in the the other. Uh, the other guest seat. He wore his bow tie and everything. He looks so handsome. <clears throat> Um, so, so yeah, handsome. so I'm excited, and and the fundraising will start um, now. I'm I'm going to approach all the um, civic organ organizations, banks, um, really in, uh, the foundations in our area, and and hope that we can do that. I'm also more than happy and willing to take private donations from citizens that are as excited about the I idea as I am. I'm going to have an account set up at Security Savings so that people can make donations. Um, and when we reach that goal, then um, did I did I mention the goal is thirty no. thousand dollars? So the goal is is thirty thousand, and that will allow us to um, have it put in, have all the necessary wiring and things that need to happen. Um, it'll be very low maintenance, if if any maintenance at all. The the lighting will be LED, of course, so that you know it won't. It, you won't have to change the lights very often and probably 10, 15 years down the road, they might have to do something, but it'll be very low maintenance and we'll choose uh, flowers that, that are very low maintenance as well, but beautiful. And I'm just excited. I think um, it's a great way. Like I said, I love our town and I, my goal is to bring people to our town and 
have them see that we take pride in our community. You know, when they drive through, even if it's just to get gas or they're coming for a football game or a basketball game mm-hmm. or they're coming to the college, if they come down and they see that we take pride in our community, you know, they might be willing to come back or they might be willing to, you know, even move here someday if they want it. I know that's a lofty goal, but, you know, I think it it starts small with taking pride in our community. And if we all do that and we clean up our f- storefronts and we clean up our yards and all that, it, it makes a difference. People see that you take pride in, in what you have and um, they'll want to come back. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. So the goal is $30,000 for this uh, this Maple Leaf Center piece. It will be illuminated. It will rotate. And we'll have a beautiful um, uh, array of flowers, grasses in the center as well. That to be determined. Looking forward to, to hearing more about that. I will remind people, I think I said this in the 7 o'clock hour, but just so people know, the rock in the uh, downtown square in the current quadrant that they are completing and finishing up that is temporary rock oh so don't worry it's just temporary they needed a place to put the rock okay. we can't have the dirt blowing away okay. um so wow. it's temporary you just made my morning because i drove by there and i was just i was horrified <laughs> at the side of that because i thought oh here we're doing all this to beautify our downtown and we do that so you just made my day vanessa yeah, it's it's that rock has to be used in malt in all okay. four squares to hold down the the sure uh, i talked to the city yesterday point was don't worry that is temporary okay. there will be greenery sod will be laid uh, and then the, the particular flowers and grasses. I'm not sure if it's flowers, but right. the landscape will be planted. But they need a place to put the rock because okay. the dirt will fly away when and we you hit know, winter. That just makes me think, it, it, this is why it's so important and why I was excited that you let me come here today. Because I think sometimes when we aren't informed or we're misinformed, then we can, we can you know, and I'm, I'm willing to say I was really upset about that rock, but I didn't know the answer. And now that I do, that makes total sense. And I think that that's what we need to get better at just as a community, you know, letting each other know what's going on so that we don't have that knee jerk reaction to sure. just be mad at all, you know, why would you do this or why would you do that? So that that makes me really happy to sure. know that. Yeah. Well, you know, they were supposed to be done. So all the challenges that they sure. from a huge sinkhole. Yes. Goodness gracious, glad they found yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. To different walls needed to be restru you know, built and make sure that the structure was sound. Sure. Uh, there was lots of challenges. Lots of stuff going on. But they feel pretty confident that uh uh, they're going to be able to to make it work uh, quicker in the Good. other quadrant. Sure, so they'll be moving. I'm sure they've learned a lot from this one, and they can be a little a little speedier as they go around. You got yeah. it. While I have you here, Sarah, real quick, it's 8:54, but it's holiday season. It is. Talk to me about what's going on at Market Alley Wines. Well, um, it is holiday season. I kind of I kind of looked yesterday. Surprisingly, my life's been kind of crazy lately, and I looked at the calendar and I saw that. You know, Thanksgiving's pretty late this year. It is. And then we turn around and it's Christmas. So I thought, whoo. So uh, Jeff and I, mainly Jeff, I have to give props to my husband, Jeff, decorated the shop yesterday. Um, I know that that's hard for some people because Thanksgiving isn't here yet. But in the retail world, if you don't get decorated now and start selling, then, you know, it's a futile attempt. So um, we're excited. We have all sorts of things. We have some wine advent calendars that are really popular. Um This year I did a 24-day and a 12-day, so you kind of have options. Uh, We have all sorts of gift-giving ideas. Uh, It's just a fun time. It's festive in there, so people love to come in and have, you know, a a drink at the end of their day, unwind with a glass of wine or a bourbon, and um, we're just excited. We love the holiday season. I love to turn on my holiday music and turn the lights down and just have the Christmas lights shining yeah. and so I'm, I'm excited for the season okay well good luck to you with the Thanks. season and there's going to be a lot going on and yeah we have to decorate because Christmas on the square is yes. coming yes it's always the we have freezing for food December 4th 5th and 6th and then boom uh, Christmas on the square is that Friday the 6th as well yes I'm Lots excited it's it, again I love our community I love that we do I think Andrea is doing a great job at the chamber getting all these things organized and yes um I, I just think it's it's wonderful for our community, and I'm just glad to be part of it. Yeah. It is a great little community that yeah. we have. We're lucky. Bruno, what you think, buddy? <laughs> he says, I don't know. He says, I, I feel like maybe I need some more attention. 
uh, Kaylee's making sure he gets the <laughs> <Right>. attention. <laughs> Mr. Bruno. He wore his bow tie and everything. Do we want him to be Dapper Dan today? He is. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Bruno, thank you for coming in, buddy. Thanks, Vanessa. As always, everything you do here, too, for the community to keep us informed. We are very lucky to have you here. So thank you. Well, thank you. I have a wonderful staff. You do. And it's our pleasure to serve the community. And uh, good luck with the fundraising as Thanks. well. Thanks. If anyone has any questions, by the way, they feel free to reach out to me. Um, the The number at the wine shop is 309-734-1800-1800. Call me. You can email me, sarah at marketalleywines.com, or come see me if you have any questions. I'd be happy to discuss. I think you have a rendering that you've maybe placed on yes. something so that people can website, kind yes. of get an idea. I will have that at the wine shop also. So if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to call me. I'd be happy to, to discuss it with you. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Thanks. Sarah Walters with us with Bruno from uh, Market Alley Wines on WRAM.